Well, welcome back to the game. <clears throat> One thing I neglected to do here at the end of my previous turn was to uh, untap all of my creatures for the, the cell sword. That's something I'm not quite used to. I'm used to things tapping maybe from my days of playing Magic the Gathering. So I'm not used to untapping them twice. Untapping them at the beginning of your turn and at the end of your turn. So I need to do that, and then it's time for Alessandra. As we begin her turn, we need to untap our Drider. I believe our Drider tapped because of a uh, immediate action card that he played. I think it was Perry uh, during the the other enemy's turn. So those are ready to go, and now we have to draw. A new order card. All right. Our Drider, who has taken quite a beating and has suffered 60 points of damage, is a very wicked foe. So he's going to make a special attack here against one of his enemies and then try to scuttle back to safety. Our Drider is going to start by making an attack against the Umber Hulk. And we're going to use a level one dexterity standard action card called Deep Wound. It says, make a melee attack that deals your normal damage plus 10. If the target takes damage from this attack, attach this card to it. And as you can see in the green here, Deal, deal 10 damage to this creature at the start of its controller's turn. So it's obviously a, a wound that keeps uh, bleeding or causing pain and damage even after uh, the attack is completed. So let's see if we can do that. That's what the Drider is attempting to do to the Umber Hulk. Well, our Umber Hulk here is a level 5 creature with strength and dexterity and it's going to use repost. This is a level 2 immediate uh, action that requ requires dexterity so we do qualify. This allows us to prevent 20 damage to this creature from one source and make a melee attack that deals 10 damage. Interesting. So this is going to tap the Umber Hulk. And I also need to tap the Drider for making its attack. So here we go. <clears throat> Drider makes its attack, doing a total of 20 damage plus 10, 30 damage. Repost is going to prevent 20 damage. So 10 damage gets through thanks to the extra bonus damage from the Deep Wound card. However, a melee attack is done in return to the Drider, which deals it 10 damage. So our Umber Hulk took 20 damage plus another 10, but prevented 20. So that's 10 damage that got through to the Umber Hulk. And since uh, it took damage, if the creature takes damage from this attack, you attach this card to the Umber Hulk. So we need to, to put Deep Wound there under the under, uh, an Umber Hulk's card. But all didn't go so smoothly there for the Drider. The Umber Hulk uh, got its attack in and dealt 10 damage back to the Drider. So the Drider is now at uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90 points of damage. Only 10 hit points left. Now normally, a creature that starts moving while it is adjacent to an enemy creature has a speed of only 1. And that's movement is instead of its normal speed. So. Normally, if we're engaged with an enemy and we try to move away, we can only move away one space. However, uh, if a creature can shift or has scuttle, scuttle 
like the uh, the drider here, then uh, then he can move away at his full speed. I believe here with Scuttle we can move away at the drider's full speed. So let's try to move the drider back and maybe see if we can get him up in an area over here where uh, he can be safe from enemy attack. With its increased speed, thanks to uh, the commander, our drider was actually able to back itself up all the way uh, into this upper corner with walls on both sides giving it some great cover. So with only 10, I think it's 10 hit points left, he's got to watch himself and see if he can perhaps make some sort of ambush attack uh, later in the game. All right, <clears throat> let's activate our giant spider next. With a speed of seven boosted to nine, we can really get around on the board. Um, let's see, if we move diagonally, I guess it really doesn't matter. This is difficult terrain. Let's go ahead and go in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go all the way up there and be ready to attack the drow wizard. The giant spider is going to use web. Let's take a look at this. It's a level one minor action. Uh, you can take any number of minor actions, but it requires intelligence and the giant spider doesn't have that. Uh, the giant spider has dex. So, uh, there's a little something special here. If we look at the card, it says spider affinity. Any spider creature can take this action. Attach this card to one creature within 10 squares. Well, we can definitely see the keyword spider, so spider affinity will definitely work. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're definitely close enough uh, to use web. It doesn't seem to say anything about a line of sight or a ranged attack or anything like that, so. Uh, attach this card to one creature within 10 squares and when it's attached this creature cannot move or shift they have to spend a standard action to remove this card so we're gonna put this on the Umber Hulk so not only does this guy have a deep wound he is also stuck in a web uh, we're doing our best to slow this big guy down our giant spider isn't uh, quite finished He's going to attempt uh, to make an attack on the Drow Wizard. And <clears throat> the Giant Spider, as you can see on his card there, does 20 points of damage when it attacks. The Drow Wizard has 30 hit points. So we're going to be 10 points shy in, in taking out the Drow Wizard. However, We've got another card here. It's Piercing Strike. Level 1, standard action, requires dexterity. Make a melee attack that does your normal damage plus 10. Damage from this attack cannot be prevented. So this is going to tap our giant spider. And it allows us to hit the drow wizard for 30 points of damage and the damage cannot be prevented so therefore the drow wizard is killed now I have a decision to make do I want to take two morale damage and destroy my wizard or do I want to take 30 damage, that's going to be 3 morale in damage, and save my wizard by having, having him cower. Let's just try the cower option. So I'm going to keep my drow wizard on the table and on the board. And 
I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. It said damage from this attack cannot be prevented. And cowering prevents damage. Interesting. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, could you cower against a piercing strike attack? Just by the straight wording on the card? Uh, I guess I will say no. That you cannot cower because isn't cowering preventing damage? Yeah, it's right there. When a creature cowers, it prevents all the damage. So damage cannot be prevented. I guess we can't cower. So our drow wizard is going. I don't have the option. Well, that's going to result in uh, level two. That's going to be a, a, a morale loss of two points. So the morale of Kaltros drops down to seven. Well, the last little guy to go on this team is the spider. Let's have him shoot out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. To the treasure pile. We'll tap his card. And we'll take one of these tiles. And gain Alessandra a point of morale. So, her morale is going to go up to 12. Well, now it's deploy time. Leadership for Alessandra goes up to 9. We have a total of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 on the board. And these are our creatures here. Level 3, level 2, level 4. We're not going to be able to bring anything out right now. Well, that's going to do it for uh, our Drow Alessandra. Piercing strike. That hurts. Um, we'll pick it up with Caltros again soon. Thanks.